means that that fleet might start moving again, but that's all right. Right, so we're going to transport that into Cadiz. I'm going to park the fleet over here again. How is, um... Okay, um, naval materials production has actually increased quite a bit. It's quite interesting. I suppose the light ships are the ones that take the most naval materials anyway, and since those are currently sitting in port, it saves us a fair bit of points. Like, the light ships take like four per month per ship. Whereas transports are probably one per month per ship, and then I believe the galleys is two per ship. Yeah, the ship industry should be growing, and there has been some investments in the industry in Lisbon. So, yeah, it should be bigger. That means that we don't need to worry about the naval materials quite as much. Which is certainly nice. Right, um... Can we actually move through... Well, we can move through there. I suppose I'll just get in here. Crap flats. There is a fair bit of troops around here. We could try to beat the French troops there if the Castilians would follow me. See if they want to join in. Oh, England has embraced commercialization. Oh, and the French are now moving up north, is there? Oh, there's a bit of troops from Aquitaine here. That is still being seized down. England hasn't really made a landing anywhere, has it? No, but they are working on that, I reckon. And since we're still keeping the French fleet over here, that's... Um, Maturity the punching power of the enemy fleet, so I reckon the rest of the fleets are mostly at port. Which makes our life a little bit easier. Oh, Naples is the career controller. Alright then. France has moved the army north. They are getting da dangerously close to my territory. I might have to do something about that. question is, of course, where could we attack them? I mean, maybe we'll try to de-siege this first. Also, still can't get more cores. Although, once we get cores over here, that might switch around. I mean, either one of these is going to allow us to start coring Benny Hosmar, at least. But then we need to get the one in El Rif, I believe, before we can start sieging down Ojia. Or Ojia. Probably not exactly how it's pronounced, but we'll go with it. Actually, speaking of Hussars, we are under our force limit. We can get another cavalry unit. Because we've only got one right now in the army. But yeah, we do kind of need to go down here to start breaking down some of those sieges. But first, I'll just, you know, help sieging down or de sieging some of the areas here. We're actually making money now. Oh, that's good. And I believe this year is... Oh, this year is going to be another one of those where we invest a little bit, but we don't have a lot of money to invest. That is Castile's War Enthusiasm at medium. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, stuff de siege or be siege So that's causing an issue. And now the French are bringing their 13,000 men. Avila. I mean, if the Castilians would help me, we could beat down that army. I don't think they will. Oh, they're moving to Toledo. And now they're moving away from Toledo because they realize... Oh, crap, there's a lot of enemies here. But they haven't entered my territory yet. Of course, that's just a matter of time. Um, right, so next year we're going to get the course at least. That's going to allow us to get a bit more money from elsewhere. So they are having a lot of troops here. How's the total manpower? Oh, yeah, we got about four or thirty-nine thousand. They got fifty-six thousand, fifty-seven thousand, somewhere around there. After some reinforcing, anyway. Yeah, it ain't easy. I'm gonna try to de-siege this one. Although, if uh, the Castilians end up in a fight, then I might need to. Oh, well, hmm. You could have taken that battle, perhaps, although that is moving down south, so it might cause some issues. 
Well, you don't want to take that battle, then I will probably once I've got my armies set and I've seized down one of this or deceased this province because we do need to deceive some of this. Although I suppose what I could do is I could just detach a siege, go down here, take on some of the smaller armies. Oh, Castile has joined the battle there. Let's go in. Our fleet will sink the French bastards. No offense, Mastani. This is who we are at war with them. Some insults need to be hurled around. There we go. So, the naval battle, I think. We did lose a transport. No, we didn't. We gained a transport, actually. And then the land battle, we also won quite nicely. We did deceive that one. Right, I'm just going to move these in here, and I can send them to be repaired at a port. Right, do I go... I think I do. Okay, Castile, move in. Join me. There we go, that's another victory. Another glorious victory. There's a lot of French uh, troops in a villa, though. Or about to be there. I'm gonna combine my units or my armies. See what I can do. Right, they got a lot in there. We've still got minus 50% war score. How's England doing? Oh, there's a bit of naval combat in there, I see. Kind of losing ground, or naval ground over here, at least. That England fleet in here? It is. Okay. Oh, England does have some troops here. There's 8,000 Englishmen in here and then Aquitaine. So what is actually... Oh, that is the war goal. Okay, that's actually a smart idea to de-siege then. Okay, good. You... No, you didn't actually stop the siege there yet. You're thinking it, but then you decide, no, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Wait a minute, I, I am going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, um, Castile's army is being kind of um, pushed to the other side. And you have not joined my army yet. Hmm. I probably need to go and DC uh, Castile's Capital, if I can. Oh, there we go. Now they're joined in. Oh, and... Oh dear, a bubonic outbreak. In my territory. Yeah, that's not great. Um, so, how much was invested in here? Uh -huh. 75, so there's a, a, about a third of a ducat invested in there. Barlavento got... About a third of a ducat as well. And Lisbon got about 1.3 ducats. This one, okay, that got 8 ducats. No more than that, about 10. Yeah, about 10 ducats. Alright. Okay, so those are spreading in there. I'm just gonna try to. Oh, faction alignment. Oh dear, we just got the worst leader. Do we have an error? We do. Okay, four, two, three. Wait, I mean, at least we got the careful. So it's not that terrible. The points are just absolutely horrendous. Um, I'm going to continue with the alignment. King, I think it's time for you to be in charge of an army. Do we have any siege pips? On um, no, we don't. Oh dear, that's a lot of troops going around here. Are they going to be chasing me, or are they just going to go to Toledo or something like that? If I could de the Castilian capital, though, that would be really nice. At least, on the other hand, I'm distracting, uh, what, 26,000 men in here? With my 10,000 stack. Well, most of it is mine, anyway. I actually wonder, how much is our total development now? Of course, we did get a decent bit of development from the... 
North African holdings. Of course, those are not court yet, so that might not be factored in. Although, some of those calls are going to be done this year at least, so that's progress. 143. Alright then. So this siege, they got an okay defensiveness. Oh, Naples have given me a gift. Well, thank you. Maybe I should send in a spy network in France. So that, that will help me siege down a little bit quicker. Hopefully they're not heading towards me now. I think they're still trying to carpet siege in here somewhere. Oh, they did manage to get the war goal. Oh, and Milan is gifting me. Oh, well, that's lovely. Because of us being all friends and all that. Right, let's go ahead and send the damaged ships to be repaired. Oh, now the French is of uh, French armies are moving north because they need to, of course, resiege the war goal. But that's going to mean that we can maybe desiege some more of uh, the Castilian lands here. Maybe even defeat these armies in the south. Although we kind of do need to desiege this as soon as possible, so I'm not going to move my army away. Though, without the siege pip and all that, it's going to be slow sieging. So I'm now medium enthusiasm. England is at high enthusiasm, actually. Oh, because they are making gains, and France is now low. Oh. Well. There we go, we got two cores. Now we're gonna get two more cores. Actually. Why is France's uh, outlook like? They got four points of war exhaustion, which is about the. Well, it's actually a bit less than Castile has, and a lot less than Albrecht, Aquitaine, or England have. Interesting. And where's the French fleet? It's still somewhere in the Mediterranean, I presume. And it's not going to be leaving from there either. Oh, right, the Castilian and Aquitaine fleets are now blockading this area, so the sieging on the coastline there is actually going a little bit smoother, which is actually really good. Uh, when we up, okay, next uh, January we're going to get a couple more calls by the looks of Actually, Sergio is going to be done in June. That's going to be a little bit faster again. We've got 12,000 men here. I don't think we need to have everything here, so I'm just going to let you detach from my army. Go and do other things. There's a lot of uh, Castile to desiege. There we go, another core. Now we do need to make this into a state as well, which is going to be kind of costly. But before we do that, we're going to get a Diplotech. Of course, it doesn't affect us that much, although... Okay, Aragon, I'm not going to take a loan. I'm going to take gifts, but... Like, we're actually making money now. Barely, but we are. Ooh, oh, oh. How's this going on? Bit of a combat here. Also has less morale. They got better leader. Oh, they got reinforcements there. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a difference in the benefits that we're getting. Like, we're still kind of dragging behind in the tech side of things. We also need to do a lot of... Um, I suppose our corruption is much higher as well. We're actually gaining a lot of corruption right now. Oh man, that state corruption is quite... Quite bad. If we have a look at the... Well, the bureaucrat corruption is only 51, but I suppose there's... A lot of large corruption provinces in here, I reckon. Uh, corruption... Where was that again? There's 60% there... That's probably causing some issues. And yeah, like technically speaking... Oh yeah, this is all my troops. Milan, no, I'm not going to take a loan from you. We've got England and Castile armies in here. Recuperating, they could easily destroy some of these small armies here. While I'm desieging their capital. Which, by the looks of it, isn't going very quickly. We've been here for nine months already and we still have minus 21%. Hmm. Not quite what we had in Fez. Okay, looks like France is actually winning the combats here again. They don't have the war goal yet, but that's just a matter of time again. A lot will depend if we can keep uh, Castile in this war. If Castile falls, then there's no point in this war anymore. Castile is quite low in enthusiasm. 
Army is opposed to being seized down quite a bit. Oh, they still got well over 50,000 men. We got about 40,000. So actually the difference has gone down a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, there's combat in here, but it's going the wrong direction. We should be winning them, not getting killed by them. Yeah, our France has certainly been devastated quite a bit. It's going to take a while for them to recuperate properly. Now I'm just growing stronger and stronger with the extra cores that I'm getting. Although, well, I suppose, I'd, yeah, I'm going to get the states probably done first, which is going to cost us a decent bit of admin points. I wonder if they're taking loans. Probably. Hmm, there is potentially a way for me to see that. Because I'm not a great power, I can't see the total debt that they have. I can see how many loans they might have through the ledger, but we're just waiting for the stuff to start moving in. The ledger. Um, score comparison. War enemies. Is Diplo or Admin? I don't remember. Although that might be different in me and Taxes, to be fair. Actually, I can see how much money they have. Income, they got still 1,200. So no, I don't think they've taken loans. If they have, then they got pretty darn big loans. Yeah, there we go. That's a two more calls. Actually, three more calls. Garb is going to be done very soon. New disease. In Flanders. Oh, how terrible. That's actually something that did uh, hinder our economy for a little bit there. The plagues that we had. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of armies in here overall in Castile. How useful they're going to be in this... Oh, there we go. We finally got the capital de-siege. Time to go in here. Break that army. Although they do have a pretty darn good uh, leader in there. Four shock. We've got one... So this might be painful. But we've got the numbers. Oh! Castile has been pieced out. Oh wow, they lost 112,000 total. Castile only lost 13,000. Ah! I think they went to low. They were at low enthusiasm already. So it kind of makes sense that they pieced them out. France is now medium. To be fair, I can still go through Castile's land, so it's Entirely possible that they'll try to start seizing me after they go to France and back. Gives me a little bit of time. Uh, first separatists are... Hmm, that might still happen. Although, uh, it's a bit less now. How is Fez doing anyway? Oh, well that explains it. They're at war. Yeah, I don't think they actually lost anything in that peace deal. Other than maybe break alliance with... Yeah, they had to break the lines with England. Or break ties with England. I think that's the only one. Unless Granada. No, Granada is still an elevated tributary. So, yeah, it was actually quite cheap for them. Overall. Oh, I can't go through Castile. Okay. Well, that's fine by me. Although, actually, yeah, we've still got the fleet over here. Are we still? We are still getting naval material, so that's good. I could go to start blockading something over there. How's the fleet situation? Oh, I mean, we are a bit. Well, we've still got more transports. Back to Africa. <laughs> Probably not quite yet, but at some point, yes. Oh, we've got a war against the uh, first to do. Get the next uh, of uh, mission done. Which is um, conquer Morocco. So we need to have those three provinces. And we'll get unknown frontier for 25 years. Settler chance, global settler increase. Ooh. Interesting. There's the southern Morocco. And gateway to Atlantic, which I'm not... Oh, right. There's the Canary Islands. Then the Azores. We've got a lot of uh, things to do, but it's very linear mission tree right now. 
Oh, and there goes the war. So Ironside lost a total of uh, 52,700 men and 13 ships. They lost 113,005 ships. How much of that was France? It's only 21,000 was France. Okay. Yeah, we could save the settler reward for later. That's true. Oh man, they had to see a lot of la Oh wow, Aquitaine is basically no more. Hmm. Not that it's my problem. Oh, back to Africa. And we can probably mothball the galleys at least. England wants a royal marriage. Um, I am still allied to them, sure. Might as well. Oh, and back to stability one. We're still getting corruption. It's probably the state corruption, to be fair. It's just so massive, and I think the state corruption is partially because the... Um, oh. Probably heretic will get the papal influence. Portugal was not a threat. <laughs> I mean, I did kill a little bit of things. And I did desiege the Castilian capital, so... And I did beat their fleet once. I did actually capture one French ship. What's the name of it, anyway? Probably the Tempete. Not entirely sure, though, but that seems like it might be... French one. Right, um, let's go ahead and get the troops on transports. Get the Tingitania, and then what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, Separate the galleys from the fleet, at least. Just us mock all that. So if we need to transport troops, we can still do that. And then you can do a bit of rebel suppression over here. That's going to make sure that there's not going to be too much of a separatist movement anymore. So is still a tiny bit of a problem because there was the extra time of... Oh, right, actually. Is there any good options for conversion? No, not really. The separatism is still very strong in these. Uh, it's probably the Ceuta, or the, yeah, the state over here that we can do. Something is happening, but I'm not entirely sure why the game is thinking this much. Uh, right, Tanja. Not going to give us any extra money necessarily. Something big was probably happening. Right, uh, Coral does take most of our points. Or half of our points. Factory chic. <laughs> Wrong game. Although something similar is probably still the case. So yeah, we've got 149 development total. But it's certainly getting better and better. We're getting a bit of money again. About three years away from the next uh, investment. How is Lisbon doing? Um, 20 dev. Okay. We start at a 14, so it's okay, increasement. Oh, increase in there. Residence is now 47,000, and peasants is 118,000. It's a fair amount of nobles there as well, and clergy. So, oh, you're guaranteed by Tlemcen. I see. And Tlemcen has a lot of allies. Okay, so I don't think I can... Oh. Oh, Fez has lost quite a bit of land over here. Oh, wait, no, that was the Algiers that was annexed, basically. And now they're going to be losing a bit more over here. Right, Fez is going to be weak. Oh, Granada has announced me as a rival. Oh no! Well, the taxes, it's probably not going to be that bad in terms of the points. It should still be like, um... 30 or 35 uh, mil points, somewhere around there. We should say I'll still have over... 200. After the taxes. I don't think they can... take land from, uh, Fez. Because I'm blocking them, and I don't think they have the colonial range to go to the other side. They might be able to make um, something like Morocco independent. Actually, I don't think Morocco has any cores in here, so I don't know if that's actually a possibility. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, they could release Morocco down here, which actually, if they do that, that's fine by me. That's a nation that I have no accuracy expansion over or towards them. Not to mention, it's only 19 on fares now, which is probably one of the biggest ones. Well, 
Stuff in light is 25. Okay, so we still got a decent bit of accuracy expansion. We still got the rebellion to kind of make sure that doesn't happen. 